what formation do you want to go? Because we play a four. We played this one, but you guys play a, a diamond. Want to go this one or? I mean, I I, I love four three three, so we could go that way. Go four three three. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, four three three. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, yeah, four three so. Okay. What uh, site is is this, by the way, Liam? Uh, line up, uh, line, line, uh, line up builder. Yeah. Line up builder. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Um, goalkeeper. Are we going with Neuer? Are you guys, are you Real Madrid fans, gonna gonna come at me? I, I mean, if if Courtois was there, I would probably put up a more of an argument. But with Lunin, uh, I think you definitely have to give it to Neuer. I don't know what's the next thing. Same, same, same. There's no conversation. This is not a combo. We move. Um, <laughs> right back. Yeah, this is the one position where I think there could be some disagreements. Um, are, are you oh, are you just well, going well, off for the first leg? Is that? It, it's a combined eleven, right? Everybody who's fit. Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Carvajal. Yeah, it has to me, be in. I'm, I'm going Carvajal. I'm has sorry, to be in. It. Uh, Liam, I'm conceding. I'm sorry, bro. You're going with Carvajal as well, okay? I think I can. Think I can oh, I can actually, surprised. I kind of felt that Bayern fans would be standing Kimmich more. I would be standing. You know what? Kimmich, uh, Kimmich. But the only thing, the only thing with it is like this guy hasn't played a full season. Obviously, Carvajal has just been playing consistently right back um, overall. Where for me, he like Joshua Kimmich needs to play right back. If he's not going to play right back, he needs to be sold. Um, he keeps flirting yeah. with Barcelona. I don't know why. He would fly out with that dead club, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, for me, it has to be you know it has to be Kimmich. But I can see where you are coming from in the fact that you know Danny Carvajal plays there on a regular. So that's what it is, Liam, for me. And then on top of that, what Carvajal has done throughout longevity months. Exactly. Exactly. Like when we when we won the Champions League in 2020, and um, Joshua Kimmich was playing right back. If he stayed there, then. It would be a tired conversation. It would be a tired exactly. conversation. Yeah. Oh, so, I don't want to do something. Kimmich is definitely leaving in the summer or something. Say again, sorry. Uh, Kimmich is definitely leaving in the summer, or is there a chance that he might stay? Depends on who's really, managing this team. Yeah, it's it's going to be to do with management. I think there's going to be a massive re rehaul for um, uh, Bayern Munich. To be honest with you, I don't know who's going to be here next season um i remember a couple of years back there was this uh there was this rumor in the real madrid uh circles that Kimmich's agent had, act, had actually offered Kimmich to real madrid so uh this summer i i think when he was like kind of flirting with barcelona and city and everything yeah. there were again rumors that some of his agents had talked to real madrid but you know that given the given how our team situation is going to be difficult to see him but like if it was like an year down the line and carvajal was like uh, he's already in his 30s so you know Especially twenty five or something, I could see Ramirez going for Kimmich if you know he he was okay playing for right back. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. only one problem though, man. You know what the problem is? He doesn't want to play right back. No, no. Unfortunately, he has a fetish for Chavi, man. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, 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 I think that 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 thing is because Barcelona is probably the biggest club that he can go to. Because Ramirez is not an option for him right now, and you know the other only other option is City. So Barcelona. I mean, it kind of, it, it, we don't. We might. This not is like the million-dollar question, though: Is Barca bigger than Bayern? Ah, uh, ah, uh, for not for me, not for me either. Listen, man, the fact that we're still in it and they're not should be saying something. Hundred <laughs> percent. But they're still in their grass. Less, less said. <laughs> right, we're not. We're not selling turf to, to get money. So. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like it says here. Both grass lovers, yeah. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Um, centre backs, I don't really want to do, but I think we have to. Um, we we'll put Rudiger <laughs> in straight away um, because there's no point even having that conversation. Um, uh, 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 Sunay, do you remember what Hafed said when he came to our to our uh, mm. episode? He said Rudiger is only good for like two two weeks or something. And yeah. Now, yeah. And yeah. contrast this with these guys. I mean, uh, the respect for Rudiger, like, it kind of gladdens my heart. I mean, you know, Barcelona is this is something that's steeped in 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 the very you know um, minerals uh, like throughout throughout our history. I mean, Bayern is much more amicable. Like yeah. if you know, Bayern, Bayern, Bayern is more let's say more of a you know 
how do I put it? Like uh, in Spanish, you would say a club with more sen uh, seniorio, maybe a more gentlemanly club. Hundred you know? percent. Yeah. That is that is that is that is given. That is a given with uh, you know the territory. Barca, we all know they they are just uh, scumbags, man. But man, you, you, even mm -hmm. then, I'm kind of glad it's my heart to see Rudiger getting all the respect here. Hundred percent. Who are we putting next to him? There? Are we put anyway. Chuma Mani there. Uh, for me, it's Delict. I would go with Delict. You would go with Delict. Yeah. Same. Oh, you know, I thought I was going to be debating you guys on this one. Thank God. No, 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 no. We should we should kind of keep it uh, no, a bit for, more level. For me personally, I, I I I've been a big advocate of getting Delict to Real Madrid. If you know, oh yeah, he was. If you guys yeah. want, if you guys wanted so to kick him out, you know, from the when he was at Ajax, I was literally advocating for this guy to join my club. Because his ceiling for me is very high. Mm. I, I think Delict, apart from being a good defender, he also has that leadership skills. He, he definitely showed them at Ajax. So for me, yeah, it, it, any team that gets him is going to be, you know, at an advantage. Super yeah. silky on the ball as well. Like he, for a guy that si of, of of his size, he's pretty good at uh, yeah stuff with his feet. Um. Uh, left, back. Left, back. left back, left back has to be Monday for me, man. For long Monday, definitely. Yeah, I think the fact has that to be him. Yeah. Has to be him. Like, but like, it would be it would be the right time to ask you guys his opinion on Mendy because he is considered shite going you know forward. But mm. from the outside looking in, what does Mendy look like as a player, as a package for the Bayern fans? I'm out. From you know, from what I've seen, I haven't seen too much of Mendy other than the season you won the Champions League two seasons ago. Mm -hmm. But whenever I've seen him here and there, like in other seasons, he seems to be. I can tell he's very physical and very quick, right? But I feel like there were games. I feel because like he's been dropped a lot, mm -hmm. so like you don't get to really see his true side whenever he does play in these odd games and all that. It's like what I was talking about with Kim Min Jae this season. Like, it's the fact that he didn't play enough, so you won't see the best of him. I, I think you, you have a point when you're talking about last season. Because last season, uh, Mendy was uh, in and out because of injuries. So he didn't really get the rhythm. And that, that's been always been the issue with, the, you know, that's one of the reasons why Ramadan have been scouting a left back for so long. It's not because Fulham Mendy is not good. He, he is good, especially defensively. And in big games, you know, Fulham Mendy can be the difference between us getting pummeled 4-0 uh, compared to, you know, uh, beating Man City and going through. So for me, uh, that is the issue. But, you know, like you said, Fulham Mendy last season didn't get the rhythm. But this season he has been fit. He has been more fitter. He's maintained his fitness. And, you know, he has gotten games and he's gotten into rhythm. And like you said, when it comes to dealing with opponent uh, wingers, I think Fulham Mendy is very, really good physically. He, he can keep up with the best of them. And, uh, you know, uh, one out of ten times he knows how to dribble the ball out of the back. And when he does that, he, he kind of feels like Zidane. He, he does the pirouettes, I think, better than Zidane, you know, uh, to an extent. He, he just has the, the knack sometimes to just get out of mad tight situations all on his own. Now racking to watch, but uh, yeah. Ah, oh, this is going to be a battle. Where who? I mean, who, first of all, we get we can plug in Cruz, right? That's going to be unanimous. You think Cruz goes straight in? So now, do you think the same? Uh, I reckon, uh, you know, because he has been the standout player uh, in midfield for us this season. There has been a couple of standouts, you know. Obviously, Fede has to be in it as well. So, yeah, Cruz has to has to be in it. Would you would you play him through the middle or on a different side? On the left. I, I think Madrid uh, kind of play him in centrally and, you know, flank him with two physical players to yeah. cover for his weaknesses. So, I mean, we could do that thing as well. Centrally. So... Then, I mean, it doesn't then, really matter. It's just, it's just for reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Then who, who else are you getting in here? I have to have Jamal Maziala in here. Otherwise... I think, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I think we're gonna have to put both Jude and Musiala in this one. Without Fede, I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna I know, lie if there's no Fede. I know. <laughs> because... I would love to, but you know the problem is you're not gonna put Jude in the middle of the striker position of Kane. You know, I, I'm telling you this from now. We can put Fede on the right. That's yeah, Fede on the right. Uh, maybe have Fede and one of your more. I mean, I don't know, man. Cruz and Fede is like kind of goes together. So, Fede on the right wing, I mean, you know, because 
we need to kind of keep this a bit more level like i get it i get it we obviously have the more informed players no i i but... I, i mean i mean uh, for me this is the thing right i i, I kind of think kane is definitely getting in there centrally mm-hmm. and there's going to be vinicius on left wing i'm not sure who you put on right wing because for me it's definitely between leroy sane and rodrigo uh, maybe oh, uh, the right side is all yours it's all yours yeah that's that's what i would say i would go on the right side are you it's it would be up to you cuz Leroy Sane's had an okay start of the season, but coming into the second half of the season, he's been absolutely ass cheeks. So, <laughs> you're, okay, so maybe I've maybe, seen some compilations of Sane, man. Holy shit. Maybe we could, do that, maybe we could, do that, you know, we could sacrifice an attacker and bring him in midfield and put Fede there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see where you're coming from. Um, so, who we who are we putting this side? We put putting Jude there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Jude, Jude's Jude probably there. Kane, Harry Kane, uh, and then Vinicius in here. Um, if it was Thomas Tuchel, he's putting Serge Gnabry in it because he's going to score. We know that. Um, <laughs> and then Valverde. Um, and then what? Have it in a different hey, cruise there. Would it be the actual other way around? So like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. What's the way, yeah? We do it <laughs> I mean, Ancelotti is a pioneer, not for nothing. Yeah, uh, fair point. Fair point. J- just, just don't let Farouk hear us say that, okay? <laughs> He'll be coming I straight. Just, he I can listen, come. I, trust me, he can have I our man. What I said on the chat in the other video, why I stick by it, man. He, that guy has a death wish. Yeah, I, I can't, I yeah, can't. because he wanted to chill in. Yeah. <laughs> You, so, you know the thing is like uh, Farouk calls Ancelotti a dinosaur for 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 his reasons, so he he can be set in his ways, and I kind of understand why he likes Tuchel because he has this um, he he has this love for the beautiful game, so he always wants his teams to be entertaining. I don't know, expensive, yeah, yeah, expensive and everything. I think he's a big fan of Klopp as well, so he kind of like fits into what Farouk wants. But man, like uh, no Real fan apart from Farouk wants Tuchel, and I can tell you that. So there Some we go, place. people. There we go. That's the that's the combined eleven. Let us know what you think in the comments. 